MyHRW and HMH are online softwares that are connected to your textbook. So if you use those textbooks for your math or language arts classes, then this is just a quick rundown of how you are able to use the material. So the students have access to these things and I think it can get a little confusing as to what is assignable. So I'm going to give you the easiest way to do it. That does not mean it's the only way or even might be not the easiest way for you, but I just want to keep you to keep that in mind. I'm going to click over here and it's going to do the smart planner. When you first click the smart planner, it's going to ask you to enter in the start date of your school year, the end date of your school year, and that's just so that it makes it assignable. So right now I put my start date in August, so all of this is red. It is still red. It's still red, and I put the 19th as my start date. You can look at it as day, week, month, or today. Month is pretty good for planning. Think of the smart planner as literally a planner. It's supposed to help you plan for your lessons and your material. So it is supposed to be used like that. I don't usually use it like that, but maybe this year will be the first year. When I am here, I just added a teaching block. You can do that by touching it. The real benefit of adding a teaching block is so that you can put in the assignments. So I put unit one, module one, lesson 1.1. I'm not doing that, but that's what I put there. So it says search for resources and lesson plans. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press that green magnifying glass and you can search for anything and as long as you have a book attached to it then you will be able to see it so i have sixth grade material seventh grade math material i think both the sixth grade advanced seventh grade advanced and then i asked someone to look at their language art stuff so i could make sure that it would also apply for the collections book so if i look up rogue wave it would probably help if i spelled it right Yep, it would help if I spelled it right. So I have a grave here, and then these are going to be the resources. Lesson plans are really for the teacher. You see it says there's nine standards attached to this, 18 resources, and this is about how long they think it should take based off of their scheduling. So if you look at the details, you can see, again, what are those nine standards, and then you're able to see the plan that they give you, teaching, practice and apply, assess and reteach. You'll see that assign button next to things that you can assign to the kids through my HRW. When I'm in resources, the same thing is happening. You see there are 10 assignable and eight free play. Free play is something that they do on their own, like reading. Reading would be an example of a free play. You're not really assigning the reading for a grade. You can assign it so that the students can see it in their assignments in order to read it, like this is the student edition reading but that is not something that we're really assigning. But see, this is an assessment. I can press assign and then I would assign it to them. I don't have students in my class, so I'm not able to assign it to them. But if I press assign, it'll give me that option. Again, I do not have students to assign it to, but you would select the class, select the book. You can add a note. You can change the time. You can say how many times they can access it, how many times they should be able to score it. So you have the option for one up to 10 times. You could say that you're going to do two, and then you can either say that you're going to take the first try, the highest score, the most recent score, or the average of the scores. So average, they would take them all, add them up, divide them by however many you have here in number two. First try is the first try. Most recent score means the last attempt. So if a student gets a B and then they get a C, they're going to get that last score or the highest score. That's, of course, an option for you. And then these kind of options, then you would press submit. And then the grades would just be shown to you. Now, I like using the My Planner because it allows you to search within here and you can search for certain standards or content. So Rogue Grave is a story, but if you wanted to say informative, 
they're going to give you everything that involves the word informative. So if you wanted to look for something specific, then you'd be able to do that. I could do the same thing for math. I can say integers. And it's going to give me all the integer things that are attached to the books that I have. And again, I have sixth grade, seventh grade, seventh grade advanced, sixth grade advanced. So I have a lot of options, but you can filter for those things. If you end up having access to multiple books, you can just say, okay, I only want the seventh grade material. Then that makes my results go from 1800 to 600. It automatically gives you resources. But again, you can say assignable, enrich, free play. So this is super helpful to know that this is how you can assign them. And again, you can use the planner and actually kind of keep track and pace and just put the things here in there. So if I say, okay, hey, Wednesday, I want to do this, I would just add the resource and then I'd be able to literally add whatever resource that I wanted to add. And now that little green thing should have put it there. Oh, it didn't want to add it. Oh, sorry. I have to actually make sure that I drag it and drop it. And now it is there under this day. So super simple. And then if you decide, hey, I don't want to do that, I would just be able to press the X. You can also move it when you're in here. So you can see, move it to a different day. It's telling me that that's not a teaching a block for the 27th. So then I'd be able to move it to some other time. And you can put it here and plan before you actually assign. So here I can assign it, but I haven't assigned it yet. This is just me planning. So it's a good place to plan and a good place to see your options, see the assignable assignments and see what's attached to what you want. So just something to keep in mind. I think it's a great resource. Um, you can do more with the assignments, but I just want to talk about assigning assignments as a, at this moment in time. If you press here, you're able to see what the actual resource is and what it looks like. And I did this one in Spanish, so all of these things are in Spanish. But you are able to see the assignments when you press the resources. That shows you what the students see. I, as always, hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or any specific thoughts on my HRW, HMH, and integrating it into your classroom.